This is question 14 from paper 2 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're shown a rectangular picture which measures 9 centimetres by 13 centimetres and it's on a card and the border is x centimetres wide on all sides. We're told the area of the card is 270 square centimetres. There's a lot of information there about this diagram and it's a lengthy question so let's start bit by bit. So here's A part 1. We have to write down an expression for the length of the card in terms of x. So here's the card and the picture on it. The length of the card is this distance top to bottom. And it consists of two parts. The first part is the border, which we know is width x. And the second part is the length of the picture itself, which we're told is 13. All these measurements are in centimetres. So we can therefore say that the length is equal to a couple of x's, two lots of x, plus 13. And that's centimetres. So there's an expression in terms of x. It's got an x in it there, in terms of x, uh, for the length of the card. So that's part a1. So let's now move on to part A2. Hence, show that 4x squared plus 44x minus 153x equals 0. So what other information have we got? We've got the area. Area length times breadth when we're talking about rectangles. We're told the area of the card, that's the whole card, that's the this 2x plus 13, as we've just discovered, and this length here, which likewise is made up of uh, two parts, a couple of border widths, again these are x, and then the width of that photograph, which we're told is 9. So you can see in this case that the width of uh, the card, 2 lots of x plus 9, 2x plus 9. So let's just, for part 2, say that the width or the breadth is equal to 2x plus 9. You can see the diagram has that. So the area of card will be length times breadth. So that's 2x plus 13 times 2x plus 9. So let's do a little multiplication here. The firsts, first terms, 2x times 2x gives us 4 x squared. Outside 2, 2x two times 9 is 18x. The inside 2, 13 times 2x is 26x. And the lasts, 9 times 13 is 117. That gives us 4x squared plus 44x plus 117. Now, we're told the area of the card is 217. So, since the area of card is 270 square centimetres, well, this, this also 
what we found there is in square centimetres. Since the area of card is 270 square centimetres, then we can happily say that 4x squared plus 44x plus 117 is equal to 270. And I think to get it in the form that they're after, we want 0 on the right hand side, we'd take 270 away from both sides. Now 117 minus 270 will give us minus 153. You can check that on your calculator. So that's the equation that we were asked to find, a quadratic equation. So let's move on to the last part of this question. And it says calculate x, the width of the border, and give your answer correct to one decimal place. So using the previously found quadratic equation, we would have to solve this and find x. Now, the one decimal place accuracy implies that we need to use the quadratic formula uh, for this solution. So let's write this equation down again. 4x squared plus 44x minus 153 equals 0. So what is the quadratic formula? Well, here it is as given to you on your formula sheet. It involves a general quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where we don't know the coefficients, these numbers 4, 44, negative 153. We don't know them, and we're told the formula in terms of these unknown coefficients a, b, and c. So we'll have to compare the equation that we're trying to solve with this general quadratic equation so that we can work out what the values of a, b and c are. a in particular is 4, uh, there's 4 lots of x squared, b is 44, there being 44 lots of x, and the constant term c in this case is, don't forget the negative, it's negative 153. So the formula tells us we'll get the roots or solution to this equation, x, if we do the following. Minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that means that x is, and let's substitute the values, negative 44 plus the square root of 44 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 153. And all of that, whatever it comes to, would be divided by twice 4, which is 8. So, the values of x are given by negative 44 plus the square root of, and let's just work out what's under the square root sign just now. That's 44 squared, and we're subtracting 4 times 4 times negative 153. That comes to 4384, 4384. And we have to divide that by 8. Now, there are two possible values that come from this formula because there's a plus or minus tucked in there. So x is either negative 44 plus the square root of 4384 divided by 8 or x is equal to negative 44 minus the square root of 4384 over 8. Now looking at the second one in particular negative 44 minus another positive number, negative 44 minus some other big number, uh, is going to be negative. And if we divide a negative number by 8, we're going to get a negative number. So this is not allowed. Remember that x is the width of the border. This is not allowed 
since it is negative and we know x is greater than 0. So we have to rule out the solution that a solution that is negative. So the only solution is this one here where x is equal to negative 44 plus the square root of 484 divided by 8. So let's work out that value. So negative 44 plus the square root of 4384 We'll work out that first. That comes to 22 in a bit. And if we divide it by 8, we're then getting 2.776 and so on. So x is approximately, let's do it to three significant figures, 2 point, well, no, let's not do it to three significant figures. Let's look at the question. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. So three significant figures would have lost as a mark. 2.7, chopping a 7 off, that 7 goes up to an 8. So it's 2.8, and it's measured in centimetres, and it's to one decimal place, as required by the question. So take care that you look very closely at the accuracy that the answers required to be given in. So 2.8 centimetres is the answer.